What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now yesterday we looked at a quick guide for Edgewise and today we are covering off the exit strategy. This is the Gambit Ritual Weapon for the season, which is an absolute monster and it's a true challenger to Recluse. So if you want to check out how you can get this as quickly as possible, then this is the video for you. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. So first things first, you want to pick up the clean getaway. You can grab this from the drifter in the tower. He's over in the annex. And that is the ritual quest for this weapon this season. As you can see, I'm running Striker Titan here and using Magnitude to get double pulse nades, which are going to be super useful. And you'll see why in a moment. Alongside that, I've got some submachine guns going. So we've got Antiope and Risk Runner. Risk Runner is going to be your absolute go-to for this one. As you can see, it has Arc Conductor, which is when taking Arc damage, the weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming damage. And alongside that, when Arc Conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to chain electricity to your enemies. And if you've got the Catalyst as well, you'll have an increased range buff as well. Now, alongside that, I have Peacekeepers. This allows me to reload any SMGs while they're stowed and allows me to instantly ready them as well. And as you can see, I've got reload speed for submachine gun and targeting as well. So that's the loadout. Now, the best way to do this, guys, is actually in Gambit Prime. The reason for that is you can get SMG kills in either of the Gambit modes, but it's your medals and points that's going to hold you up on this one. Gambit Prime is most definitely the most effective way for you to get medals. And as I said earlier, your SMG kills will be completed in no time. The easy medals to sort of go for are things like Killmonger, Thrillmonger. If you can, try and get a Massacre medal. Also, don't forget to bank those moats as well. By banking, that adds to your points total, which help with the third objective of the quest. If you do, however, fail to bank those moats, you will notice a much slower amount of progress made on the points element of the quest. So make sure that as you're getting the kills, that you're also banking the moats. A couple of other easy medals to go after are Block Party and First to Bank. So make sure that you've taken advantage of those and are trying to work together as a team. If you can run with a friend, it helps you get those medals. Otherwise, it is still achievable solo. Now, as I mentioned before, you will get the SMG kills very quickly. But the last two parts of the quest will take you between three to five hours in total. And that was me running pretty much solo most of the time. So... In perspective, getting a ritual weapon in three to four hours is still relatively fast when you do consider it should actually take you all season. But yet, once you've completed the quest, as you have there, you want to jump back into the annex and visit the drifter, and they'll have the exit strategy waiting for you. And there we have it. So let's take a little look at this weapon then. As you can see here, it's a kinetic SMG. So it comes with swashbuckler and surrounded. It also has threat detector and underdog and it has a stability masterwork. I've added a major spec mod to this, and it's an absolute monster and a true contender to recluse, except it's in your kinetic slot. So there we have it, guys. A few hints and tips for you to help you get exit strategy as quickly as possible. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel, and you've been killing it lately. And if you enjoyed the video, I want to see even more Destiny 2 content moving forward then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.